well good evening the viewers of united matters channel second bid for gerard breathwaite is being anticipated by the side of everton and man united are also really planning to obviously put it in we are obviously going to be bringing you who is really saying this and how much this bid is really going to be worth into the mix Diego Dalo coming out and obviously speaking about his season as he prepares to play his first game for Portugal. I think it's going to be, is it on Wednesday? That's when they're going to be playing as Portugal into the group stages to play their first game of the group. We thank God for the gift of life, the Muslims, Barak Laufikum, and may the living to God bless you abundantly. Rock and David is my name and hope you guys are really having fun. And here we come in peace to obviously have something to say about the game of football. And hope you guys are really having fun, right? And continue to subscribe. You know the do you know the jeweled we want to hit twenty thousand subscribers before the end of this month. Right? So, the Muslims, Baraklau Fikum, and Jack Talbalt is a chief correspondent for the transfer.com and also Times. Remember, Times are the ones that really broke the story that United had already gone ahead to agree personal terms with Gerard Breathwaite. And after that story, the following day, we obviously had a story that Man United have gone ahead to obviously find themselves in a position of putting in a bid of 35 plus some add-ons and it was rejected by Everton immediately. He has told us that Manchester United ready to improve their offer to sign Gerard Breathwaite this month. Everton are willing to listen to offers at around 50 to 60 million pounds but what insert clauses to make the overall package close to 65 million pounds and above. That is what Jack Talbot is really telling us. Then Ryan Taylor Sport who works for <coughs> the daily mirror and sunday mirror has told us that united are poised to submit an improved bid for breath weight united have no intentions of matching 70 million pounds asking price and will inform the toffees of their willingness to move on to alternative targets if an agreement cannot be struck on realistic terms so man united are like we are not the united that we used to be we are not going to pay the united tax and Ineos is here to obviously dismantle all that stuff as it's head right about now. Because way back, it was really hard to say to it that you don't really find yourself in a situation of really paying the United tax because Man United was spending money stupidly. But if you come into this era of people called Ineos, they are like, we are having a limit. However much we want Gerard Breathwaite, we will don't go beyond the amount of money that you want and i think man united is planning to obviously make a bid of 50 million pounds right guaranteed fees and some add-ons that are really realistic and if i told you everton and you've gone ahead to work with man united and the last time you worked with them and you sold them a player that was wayne rooney you went ahead to see to it that he really earned a lot of money and if i told him everton they are the same clauses that I really inject into the transfer deal. One, if the player plays such and such number of games, they get this amount of money. If the player takes the team to the Champions League, Everton gets such and such amount of money. If Man United wins the Premier League, the Everton earns such and such money. And it was really a special case for that guy, that is Wayne Rooney, that Every time United went ahead to win a Premier League, there is some money that went to go that side. You know, playing the quarterfinals of the Premier, of the Champions League, semi-finals, finals. You understand? Those are clauses that should be really put in there for you. And a deal can go close to sixty-five million pounds or sixty million pounds. You know, if such add-ons have gone ahead to be put on, you understand? So, I think that's the same thing we're ahead to do with Mason Mount guaranteed fees were 50 million pounds and the add-ons were 10 million pounds so i really believe this deal might be done this week if all goes well and everton accepts the bid that man united is really preparing to obviously offer to them and i know that bid is gonna be going in either today tonight or tomorrow it has to be going in because eric ten Hag is having a week you know away from obviously getting back to Carrington to obviously plan for the summer 
transfer sorry for the summer transfer window and the preseason meaning that he would love to come here with a central defender already signed to so it that man united goes to um, sorry even before we go to the us that center back has, has to be available to take part into the first two games you're playing i think one against rosenberg and another one against rangers into the mix so we have to find something important about this and this deal is being worked on uh, swiftly man united have gone ahead obviously send everton a message that if you cannot really work with us in our limits then we'll move on to another defender but i think they are so much into this guy because he's english and i know they're gonna move on an english defender that is harry Maguire. And they would love obviously to replace him in you understand and i think that's why they are so much onto gerard Braithwaite. if we are not going to move on very many english players from the squad of manchester united i tell you there would be no reason for us to obviously cling onto this deal even paying 60 million pounds for this guy because their players are really better than him that at 50 million pounds you get them and you use them to get you what you want so i think it's all about the huge exodus of english players that man united is going to be really seeing leave for example bisaka is expected to leave sancho is expected to leave greenwood is expected to leave and those three are musts you know they are must leaves and there are others scott mctominy homegrown player harry Maguire, english player you understand you know foson omari has already gone ahead to leave so we we might lose close to six homegrown players and that's why united is clinging to bringing in one homegrown player <clears throat> that is gerard breathwaite into the team of manchester united so we wait and see how that pans out but no sooner the bid is in i'll be here to let you know what it means and how the side of united have gone here to be treated by the side of everton because everton badly needs this money before the 30th of june so that is all about gerard breathwaite but gerard breathwaite is really on holiday and the reason as to why united is really chasing after him is he's not part of the euro squad and they want him to obviously start off with Eric Ten Hag immediately to make him a better player. And Eric Ten Hag is good at really working around these young players. When you look at most of the young players, he has gone ahead to sign at Club Manchester United. They've gone ahead to give him what he deserves. And Ineos is really excited with the work of Eric Ten Hag. So wait and see what the deal of Gerard Brethwaite is going to be like in the coming times and seasons in there for you. Now, let's go to Diego Dalo. As he prepares to play for Portugal in the Euros, in the opening game, he was asked, was this the best of his career? He said, I think so, but it's worth what it's worth. If I don't contribute to prove that I deserve to play, and the work continues day after day in the same way to continue to be in good shape as I have been until now. So, this boy has gone ahead, obviously, improve a lot. And I think the problem that affected his career at Man United was simple not having managers who know how to use young players he came in through i think he was 18 years of age you know and people don't even remember that he came in through under um he came in through i think in 2018 when jose Mourinho was here and by the time he was signed he was one of the best right backs in the world we signed him from fc porto and it took him close to five years so it took him to four years to get into the team of man united but we could all see that he's really a great player and this is why i tell people always that the delayed coming in of a manager of a caliber of eric ten Hag went ahead to affect these players but it's good that he's now 25 and everything is really going on well and he has the first slot in the starting 11 for the club of manchester united as the right back and at portugal he's also going to be starting for me as a right back because they don't have any right back who is better than diego dalo and lastly said individual rewards are always positive in my case it gives me more confidence motivation it's great to be recognized by my teammates and those who see me every day it's recognition special that is diego dalo for you so guys go into the comment section and tell me thoughts about gerard breathwaite second bid incoming 
it expects it's expected to be 50 guaranteed fees and 10 million pounds of add-ons do you think everton will obviously accept that all that and more into the comment section below i'm out